Good morning. Welcome back to BT. If it's been a while since you stopped by Elephant Castle, we've got a couple of great reasons for you, not the least of which is Roy and Jay. We're going to talk a little bit about the renovations and the revamp menu. Uh, Jay, you're going to give me an example of uh, something maybe a little off the beaten path. A little something off the beaten path, yeah, yeah. for sure. We're going to do our slum dog here. It's an all beef Nathan Detroit's hot dog. Okay. We're going to finish it with a little butter chicken sauce made in house, and we're going to finish it with some cilantro. Some sauteed onions and a little spicy yogurt to just round it all up there. Sounds fantastic, man. You cook, because sure. I, I want to talk, if I can, Roy, about sure. th this new restaurant. You guys really, from uh, from floor to ceiling, all different inside now. Correct. What was the idea behind revamping Melvin Castle? Uh, 25 years of old room is why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, it's really... Uh, it was Sometimes really you don't want to mess with a classic, though. No? Yeah, you know, it had some nostalgia to it, definitely. Sure. But, uh, you know, things were dated, definitely, and uh, it needed a new look. Uh, we need to gain some new business and get some new people in the room, so... Uh, it allowed us to do that. Okay, so the idea is behind this one. It's going to be uh, welcoming for absolutely everybody. I've got a, right. I've got a high flute and business lunch. I've got some uh, friends headed to a Jets game. Exactly. Yeah, family dinners, business lunches, some drinks after work. Uh, the idea being is uh, we have a universal room that can cater to everybody, basically. Really cool. And the menu is a great little example of that. Let's talk, if we can, guys, about the fact you keep a lot of your standard pub fare. Correct. The, the stuff I expect, uh, like a shepherd's pie. Right, exactly. A shepherd's pie, uh, bacon wrap meatloaf, uh, chicken pot pies, anything from that to uh, our, our casual favorites, which are Long Beach fish tacos, jalapeno mac and cheese, you name it, and then our, our delicious slum dog. Here oh, are we, well. are we all wrapped up with the slum dog? <laughs> We're, up ready, here. We're ready. ready to go. So we've, we've got it all put together here. We've got our freshly grilled naan bread that we bake in house. We've you do your our, own naan? Well, sometimes. You know, we don't know. I like to break up the loose stuff, you know? <laughs> nice. We've got the sauteed onions, which we do in house. We've got the cilantro, our spicy yogurt, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of Cajun in there, and some fresh yogurt as well. Let me quickly ask, man, about uh, some of your fave highlights when it comes to the For menu. Sure. Uh, what, what gets what? you guys excited in the kitchen? Well, you know, we're all big fans of the pot pies over here the chicken and the steak and mushroom pot pie. Okay. All baked in house, baked every day for you. Comes with a nice fresh salad. The bacon wrap meatloaf is another one of our popular favorites as well. It's got our house made peppercorn sauce, some green beans, or our seasonal veg, which is right now is green beans. And you can't go wrong with our shepherd's pie. You know, we've got the we've got the lamb in there, we've got the beef in there, the fresh veggies in there. Lamb and, and the shepherd's pie is well, that's a actually fifty fifty thing. mix there, you know. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Traditional style of shepherd's pie for sure. And uh, Roy, you and I were talking earlier about the fact that uh, you've got some great people working in the kitchen. So if you there's bet. something I don't see that I want or something I want Let different. Us know. Yeah. Easy as that. You bet. Yeah. I will, uh, you know, if something's wrong, something's uh, a little bit out of the ordinary, you have an allergy, let us know. Jay, I'll be sure to take care of that for It's sure. never a bad idea. May never I? Bad. Absolutely. We, we, have, we have extra napkins on hand. Oh, we, we do. got lots we of do. napkins for you. <laughs> all right. Awesome. That's good. The boys are all asking about Sharon. That ain't going to happen. Sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> this one's all mine. Enough for one. <laughs> well, I Maybe could share, but I ain't going <laughs> to. Let's talk bar menu if we can. Sure. What have we got when it comes to behind the bar? Uh, we have a lot of imports uh, in our bottles. Uh, we had to narrow the selection a little bit, uh, but again, we'll have uh, some in the bottles. We have six tap of imports and another 12 uh, domestic taps as well. Very nice. And many specials as well? Correct. Uh, Monday to Sunday, we just started some features. Uh, you will find half price bottles of wine on Monday nights. Uh, we bad. expect that to pick up a little bit. Uh, Sundays, we have uh, NFL ticket as well right now, but also we uh, included in that $4 Caesars, $4 highballs, and then we're also uh, uh, featuring 39 cent wings and uh, 20 ounce uh, pints of Bud and Bud Light for five dollars. Very nice. Okay, yeah. wings. Because I'm a wing guy. You were talking great wings. What great makes your wings wing great? Well, Jay, for one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay. What makes your wings great, man? Because wings is one of those things that everybody yeah. gets so particular about. Oh, for sure, for sure. We just started the special this week. Uh, you know, we're bringing in fresh wings for it, cooking them to order. Nothing's pre-made, you know, and it's all quite a few house-made sauces as well. And really, they're a great price for the value, you know, as well. Yeah. 39, 39 cents. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Minimum 10, and uh, away you go. Okay, uh, reservations are uh, suggested? Su uh, they are suggested, definitely, for lunches. Um, we'll try and uh, fit you in as best we can. Uh, we do reservations, just not on event nights. Uh, first come, first serve at this point, uh, just because, again, we do fill up fairly early. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, clear out, then fill up again. So I was going to ask, secret to getting in before a Jets game is get there really, really couple early? A couple hours early, generally, is uh, recommended, for sure. Or, or look for this guy. Simple yeah. as that. <laughs> yeah. I'll put all the links and all the information including uh, an opportunity to go check out the new menu at breakfasttelevision.ca. I'm now checking on weather. No, I'm not sharing. Here's Jenna Khan. <laughs>